Hello everybody and welcome back to A Taste of Donegal. So we're going to dedicate today's episode to the Pig and the Beef mod. I haven't done it at all yet on this map and I think we really should do. As it is implemented into the map it would be a shame not to do it before the end. So I'm going to take the unusual approach of filling the bucket straight from the conveyor with some root crops. Just got to get the positioning right here because if you roll forward just slightly it will stop filling. But that is the position we need to be in. We've got a bucket load. So let's reverse out of here. Mind the cockerel. I'm going to go over to the uh, pig and beef complex, which I think is near to here. Yes, yeah, not too far away. It's near fur number five and six, which is down the bottom. So if I uh, go straight on out of here, we should be able to get there in no time. So yes, yeah, so let's just get the bucket in the right position. Should be okay. And yeah, we need to do a total mix ration. We also need to give them some straw. This is the root crop, obviously. And hopefully some grain as well. I don't know if I'm going to do like the pigs today and then the cows next week. We'll have to see. Uh, I know it does take a while to do them, though. They're quite time consuming. But yeah, let's at least do one of them today. Starting off with the pigs. So from here, we have to go right. And then through one of my favourite entrances to a farmyard, just here. Quite a, a steep, bumpy track of this. So I think the pigs are first. Well, basically, whatever's first will do, uh, just for simplicity's sake. So what is this here? Not sure. Uh, I think it's a guessing game. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Anything on this side? No. Okay. So there's nothing distinguishing between the two sheds. So we're just going to have to buy the pigs, I think, and see which shed they appear in. So they're very cheap, only £75 each. I'm going to buy maybe 50 and then we will resume. That's 48 and there we go, 50 pigs. Fantastic. I guess the right shed. 50-50 chance and looks like we went for the right one. So that's good, let's get this into the storage point for the sugar beet or the root crops. It doesn't really matter how much we give them to begin with because we can always top it up later on. I think the uh, default root crop is a potato actually, but it will still accept it hopefully. Should do. There we go. Yes, that is kind of strange. You, uh, you put in sugar beet and a load of potatoes appear. It's like a magic trick. As we have still got half a bucket load, we might as well put this in the cow's side. Otherwise, it's just a waste. So, let's tip this in here. More magic potatoes. Whoa, that was even more impressive. That's because we don't own any yet. So, actually, thinking about it, as we already, as we already uh, are here with what we need, we might as well just do both together. Otherwise, it's just very time consuming and it'd be a bit of a waste of time. So the, the beef cows are actually quite a bit more expensive, they're 50 pounds more. So we're gonna still buy 50, uh, but it will be a bit more pricey. That's 50 beef cows. Yeah, I wish there was like another mod similar to the pig and beef mod, which allowed you to do even more different types of animals because although, yeah, it's very nice that we've got the pig and the beef, uh, if, there were an even wide, if there was an even wider variety, it would be even more interesting. Got a tiny bit left in the bucket, 5%. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to have to tip it away because I need to put some grain in here next. So, it's a bit wasteful, but still, it needs to go. So, next job is to go to our grain storage point, which is very close to the main yard. Uh, I think, actually, there is a very quick shortcut from here. So, going to be cheeky. I'm going to go through the pig complex, and we're going to cut across to the main yard, which is very close to here. The only reason I was at the other side of the map was obviously to pick up the sugar beet. And once we've done this, we're going to start the total mix ration, which should be relatively simple. We have everything we need. We've got the hay, we've got the straw, and also the fermented silage, which is in the yard. We're going to use the book rake to pick it up with, uh, using this JCB. I believe this is rented. 
Yes, we've got it for almost a day. Only had it for about 15 minutes so far. And I think we do have to go back around and onto the road to get to the storage point, but it is just next door to here. Yeah, shame this map doesn't have traffic. I think I've mentioned that before, but it would add a lot to it. As I've said though, if there is a future update, then I'm sure it will be implemented. So, no doubt the one we need is being blocked in by our fit. I've just seen what this is. We need wheat. So, this will be barley, no doubt. Oh no, it is. It is wheat. Fantastic. I don't know how much we're going to need. That is the issue. We are at risk of wasting it. I guess I could bring it back again. But let's take this over there, back through the main yard and straight to the pig and beef complex. Uh, we might actually be able to do this without going through the main yard. Have to see. I think if you go to the end of here, turn right on that lane. Yes, that would work. So there should be a turning right here. Yep. This goes straight up there, so very handy. Yeah, I really like how everything is so close together and you know exactly where everything is. Our grass fields have totally grown back again. It feels like just five minutes ago I was doing that mowing. Oh, way up, we've got stuck. <laughs> We're stuck, let's put diff lock on. It is a bit wet here. There we go. So let's fill up the correct compartment with the grain. I think it is going to take more than what it did with the sugar beet, but I might be wrong. Hopefully that is accepting it. I will just make sure. Otherwise we could be tipping that down the drain. Uh, where is it? I go blind when I start looking at this. Interestingly, it does say Maize grains, which it didn't used to do. This used to just be standard grain. So maybe it's been adjusted to only accept corn. If it does, I didn't know about it. So yeah, that, that kind of is hinting it, saying maize grains. So one second, I'll go and swap this for a bucket load of corn and see if that works. Okay, so here we go. We've got a bucket load of corn instead. As I say, I don't know if this is the correct type to give them, you really would have thought it would be, uh, but worth a go. We'll just tip a little bit in there just to begin with, just in case. Hopefully that is accepting it. Uh, no, <laughs> it still isn't doing. So yeah, that is quite interesting actually. I don't know why it would not be accepting the grain, unless of course it might have to be tipped from a trailer. That is the only thing. So I'd love to hear your feedback about this next week. Um, for next week so I can hopefully improve on that. I will just try once more because this is definitely where you tip it. See if that works. Nope, still nothing. So yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to have to put that on hold for next week but we can still do the total mixed ration. They will also require water. We can also leave that until next week and also they're also going to need some straw for the bedding. So. I think if we can get the total mixed ration done today, that would be fantastic. So we might be able to get, you know, just one feed mixer load and, and spread it between the two. Or we might have to do two separate loads, we'll have to see. Uh, I would have thought the cows would require quite a bit, they, they tend to. So it's just going to be one of those things which we're going to have to do one load, see how it goes, and if they need more, fair enough, we'll do another load. So let's head back to the yard, get things sorted out. This track is horrendously bumpy but we'll put this away. I'll tip the rest back as well, because that would be a waste. Okay, so that is that done. We are going to need this again for the silage, so we will re reverse back and uh, put it back in the yard. We'll take the bucket off, switch it with the buck rake and I'm going to have to try and choose the best tractor for the job 
of powering the feed mixer. I think if we just put the bucket here. Otherwise it's likely going to get in the way. Feed mixer's there. And the buck rake is just around here. There's our Fusion 2 baler. Uh, we've got the Fusion 3 now on Knaveswell. So we've got both running. Both very good balers. Whoa! Sorry about that. That was uh, strange. You've always got to make sure you've got the, the front uh, fitting here lined up perfectly. Otherwise it goes flying like it just did do. Uh, so I got that wrong. But yeah, we, we're going to use that JCB there. This one here is going to be used, the TM320, for loading up the bales. Uh, we've got the Ford in here, which is going to be used obviously to pull this trailer out because we've got the bales on it. Uh, I think the best thing to do will be to pull straight out, but obviously not get in the way because that is a risk here. Should be able to get this out without crashing, hopefully. The bales are detached, so technically they could have come flying off. But I think if we leave this here, we've then at least got access to the silage pit. So actually we could still use the Ford as the tractor to power the feed mixer. Because the bale trailer doesn't actually need a tractor attached to it. So let's reverse and we'll go and get it. I do like these Fords, they are fantastic tractors. And the IC is good, and also the fact that they're not jumping up and down anymore. I don't know if that was actually public release, released, but I got it sent to me, the fix for it. I uh, haven't really been keeping a too close your eye on the mods recently. I've been looking at the maps, but not so much on the mods. Uh, so, not sure if there was an update for this tractor. But, yeah, I got sent the, uh, the anti-disco version. So it didn't go dancing across the map. You can probably remember... Uh, the, the bouncing wheels and the rocking cab, which was quite interesting to see. Here's my atrocious reversing. Usually not too bad at reversing, but today <laughs> clearly not any good. So I'm going to put it in a, in a position where it's not going to be in the way too much and we're going to have access to everything. We obviously need to have the hay, but this is terrible. This is terrible. How am I doing it so badly? Yeah, we need to be able to get to the hay bales as well. So I think if we put this here, we'll leave the engine on because obviously it's going to need to power the mixer. So we'll jump out. Uh, first of all, let's go and get the hay bales. I did move the McCormick tractor out of the way, so we should have perfect access to them, although they are facing the wrong way, which is the tricky thing. There's always a catch, but yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Comic Tractor's engine is still running. Yeah, I should be able to squeeze in there and get these, hopefully. It's not ideal. But, you know, <laughs> as long as we get them. Here's the first one. Would be easy to do two at a time, but couldn't quite get two on there with the position they were in. So that is mixing. Now for the second one. See if we can push this one around. Or just, you know, skewer it slightly. That'll do. And we'll get this one put in as well. Then it'll be a straw bale. And the rest will be silage. so nice to have access to all these bales, you can just pick one and go for it. Usually got a real shortage of bales, but not today. And now we can move out the way with this one. We shouldn't need it again unless we have to do another load, which hopefully we won't have to. Uh, it would be ideal if we can feed both 
with just one load. I guess we could just, you know, split it over the two and not give them the full amount. I really can imagine those cows being very greedy. So it's going to be quite difficult. Whoa, that is a big load of silage. It's got a capacity of 8,000 litres. We're going to use a fraction of that. That must be heavy. Although, it did actually take quite a bit. So that should be a good enough mix. It might not be perfect, but it, was, it should still be registering as total mixed ration. And even if it doesn't, it will still be good feed. We'll put this here. Switch the engine off. Get into our Ford and go over to the pigs and the beef. Or the pigs and the cows. Yeah, it seems really weird saying that the pigs and the beef, because obviously beef is the meat. Uh, but yeah, the beef cows, I'm sure there is a technical word for them. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too good with that, the terminology. Yeah, that's 84%. Interesting that the signage didn't register to the top. There we go. Quick top up. We've now got 100%. Did notice the silage on the total mix ration gauge was uh, showing us not enough. That would make perfect sense. Uh, I thought it had stopped, but clearly not. I was just not paying attention. Okay, we'll switch this off again and go over to the Ford. That's better. So everything is in the blue on the chart. So that's a good mix. It's good enough. Now it just depends how much of this is going to be spread between the two. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll try it. If it goes to 50% then I'll stop so we can give the other half to the other animal type. Uh, the more you own the more it can put in the trough obviously. Um, but yes I've just noticed is that the uh, total mix ration symbol? Bottom right hand corner? Not too sure. No, I don't think it is. It stopped automatically though. What did that register as? Uh, oh, it did. Looking at the wrong side there. Yeah, it is total mixed ration. That's good. So things are going okay at last. It's taken long enough. Um, but yeah, it's just the situation with the maize. What was it, what was it calling it? The maize grains. I'm not really sure what that is. Got this side, filling it up there, which is actually going to leave plenty aside for next time. So I think what I'm going to do is stop here, and I'm going to wait for some feedback regarding the maize grains and also uh, what what else you think we should do. Obviously, we need to give them some water. Do we need to give them silage? I'm not too sure. If they've got total mixed ration, do they require the silage, or is that just like an extra thing? Uh, I suppose it's not a bad idea if you forget to feed them for a while because then they've got something else to be going on with but yeah we'll have to see please do give me some feedback i'd love to know for the next episode which should be episode 17 i think uh, so we're really cracking on with this uh, series now it's going very well so thank you for watching that is going to be it for today hopefully you've enjoyed the video and we will return next monday for some more on a taste of Donegal. but until then thanks again and bye for now